So the other day I was walking through this department store. I passed by the perfume section and a scent that went by the name Delicious caused my respiratory system to go into seizures. See, when you have a chronic illness, especially a chronic illness of the lungs, any little thing can send you into a coughing spasm. The littlest thing can immediately make your lungs tickle and flutter like a litter of kittens or having an orgy inside your chest. <coughs> Also, a coughing spasm with cystic fibrosis sounds similar to an 80-year-old smoker with the swine flu mating with a rabid growling lion. Once it had stopped and I came to the conclusion that I wasn't dying, I glanced to my left and see a lady looking at me as if I had spat the black plague out of my chest and infected everyone. I then proceed to tell her, oh, it's not contagious, I have cystic fibrosis, it's a lung condition. To which she cuts me off and responds, Oh, I had a cousin who had a friend who had a nephew who had a dog who had an owner who had a cat who had a cousin that had something like that. It's like asthma, right? Well, my great-great-grandpappy said all you have to do is grind up some ginger root and the teeth of a saber-toothed tiger and snort a few lines and you'll be good as new. <coughs> My brain immediately begins scouring every sentence of the Wikipedia page on the definition of cystic fibrosis. I start to open my mouth to speak, cocked and ready to release an atomic bomb of knowledge on this lady that will probably make her head spontaneously combust. As I started to talk, my voice cut off. I was about to go over the usual information about CF to this lady as I had done numerous times to countless people. See, it's easy to explain to someone the physical and medical side of having a chronic illness to rattle off every fact from every website you know. <clears throat> but I stopped because I thought to myself, what if I actually told her what cystic fibrosis was? Not the medical aspects, not the stats and statistics from a Wikipedia page. What if I told her that cystic fibrosis is hearing other kids talk about how they wanted to be firemen or police officers when they grow up as a child, when all you can think about is hoping you get the chance to grow up? What if I told her that CF is trying to make the dialogue between your action figures louder than the sobs you hear coming from your mother in the next room over the fear that she may have to bury her child? What if I told her that cystic fibrosis is being a letdown to your father because you were sick and couldn't be the hardworking man that he always imagined his son to be? <coughs> if I told her that the age of survival for someone with CF is 41 years old but I've had to say goodbye to more brothers and sisters under 25 than I can count? And by brothers and sisters, I do not mean by blood. I mean my brothers and sisters in arms who every day fight to take a breath. What if I told her that CF was looking some of those brothers and sisters in the eyes while they're laying in a hospital bed and telling them, just keep fighting. You got this. You'll be fine. When in my heart, I know they'll be gone soon. What if I told her that CF was finding the bottom of a Jack Daniels bottle and talking to the ashes I keep around my neck because it's the closest I'll ever get to talking to my brother again? <clears throat> that I've lost more people I love to this disease by my age of 24 than most people will lose in four lifetimes. That it's keeping the shades pulled and when you finally think you have the strength to open them and see the sunrise, crying your eyes out again because you realize that so many people will never get to see something so beautiful again. That it's depression. That it's like being suicidal. Your lungs the gun that never really have the balls to pull the damn trigger. That cystic fibrosis is an atheist falling to their knees and praying to a god to please not take another one of your friends. <coughs> That having to receive government assistance because some days you can't muster the strength to get out of bed to hold a job makes you less than a cockroach and worthless in the eyes of society. That cystic fibrosis is people telling you how lucky you are that you get to stay home while they bitch about the Mondays when they better thank God that they get to bitch about the Mondays. That it's not being able to hold a steady relationship because you've been burned too many times. That you've heard, I just can't deal with this so many times you've given up. That you don't blame them because no one wants to watch someone else die. But you pray someone will stick it out because god damn, what's a truer version of love than loving someone enough to watch them die? That it's countless doctor visits, surgeries, needles, procedures, nurses, pills, breathing treatments, tears, goodbyes, heartaches. That it's pain and that it hurts. But... There's two sides to every coin. Cystic fibrosis is also love. It's waking up every morning and appreciating those damn noisy birds outside your window because they're alive and so are you. It's firsthand witnessing unconditional love for a woman who has not only been a mother but a father and a nurse and a friend and a rock. 
It's never taking anything for granted because you know how quickly it can be stripped away. <coughs> It's growing up in a largely prejudiced, homophobic family, but realizing at a young age that all those people are morons, because inside the four walls of a hospital, it doesn't matter what color your skin is, it doesn't matter what gender you love, all that matters is connecting to another human being who knows what it's like to lay in a hospital bed for weeks at a time, and wonder if you'll leave through the entrance or through the morgue. It's your friend staying with you in the hospital until 12 a.m. on your birthday, so you don't have to be alone and covering the walls in Star Wars party decorations. It's a humorous welcome back sign on your hospital door from nurses that have became your family. It's knowing the difference between being alive and merely existing. I looked at that lady and flashed a smile, and I just walked away. <laughs>